Well, look who it is. It's little Chung Chung. He's finally awake. It's good to see your little turtle face again. But it's not Year of the Turtle. It's Year of the Cow. Did you know that cow in Mandarin is Niu? So with English, we say New Year, New Me. But in China, we say New Year, New Me. Amazing! There's not much else to talk about at this time of year, as evidenced by the fact that my old friends ChinaNews.com are running a story on how foreigners like to spend their Chinese New Year, and they asked people like me, to be more specific, me, um, how we spend our Chinese New Year. And I told him in this interview. Thanks to the magic of subtitles, I was able to speak English. They asked me about what videos I make and how many followers I have. One day I'll have a good answer for that. But I am actually planning to make a video that is addressing a lot of the misconceptions about it. People don't know that you go to visit family, and people don't know that you're drinking baijiu at midday. As it happens, they weren't the only ones making videos about Chinese New Year. In an attempt to understand what it is from a Chinese point of view, I asked a few mates to tell me all about it in their own words. You should go watch that video, they have so much to say. Hello, would you like to talk about your dog? Whoa! Is he a good boy? Yeah, it's a four year and a half schnauzer, right? Oh wow! Favorite dumpling? Yes! Favorite dumpling? Mm-hmm. Juro. Do you think there are any bad dolphins? Mm, if like they got hurt, so they'll get angry, so they'll attack. Maybe I don't know. And what about Vietnamese tea, Vietnamese. also known as coffee? Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah, I like uh, I like Vietnamese tea. Of course, I myself took my annual New Year trip to my wife's hometown to visit my Chinese family. It pretty much consisted of. Leaving the city, spending time with family, watching Chunwon, seeing the sights, doing lots of eating, doing lots of drinking, seeing more sights, visiting the countryside, and much more. Didn't all of that look so great? Rural China is just so beautiful. If nothing else, it's a huge contrast from last year's Chinese New Year. So much can happen in a year, right? Before we finish off, I just wanted to share with everyone a gift I was given. My friend James, who you may know as the best man at my wedding, is leaving Chengdu. He's clearing out his house and was giving away a bunch of his stuff, including this beautiful bottle of yellow wine. I don't know if it's for cooking or drinking, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, there's a cork. That does not look like yellow wine to me. I feel like that's for cooking with. But that's not the gift I was talking about anyway. For my 20th birthday, James bought me this pack of cards. Uh, a pack of um, Trump cards. Here they are. Uh, these are not the Trump cards I grew up with. We've, we've got a certificate that comes with the pack. 999.9 .9 gold foil. Sophisticatedly Handicraft with 24k gold foil. They all have Trump on the back, but on the front they're just normal playing cards. Sadly, the king is just a normal king dude. They, they didn't put Trump's face on the king. Um, or the queen. Or the joker. Thankfully, they did put uh, Jared Kushner's face on the jack, though. This isn't the type of thing I'd usually, like, consider myself interested in, but but there's an undeniable charm in the absurdity of this as a product. I love it. So if anyone comes to visit my house, I have a pack of cards now. Wine and trump cards. Could my life get any better? Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see, and leave a comment if you don't. You've a strong arm, strong faith, and most importantly, a strong heart.